to begin with. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's ASMR meditation here at the SOS Gardens. We're gathered here for what is our third meeting together at this lovely little place we have on Second Life. To unwind, to try to relax and have a nice time. This is generally a chill gathering. We work together here, and while we're in this space, while we are here, all feelings, good or bad, helpful or unhelpful, no matter what they are, they are welcome. You see, when we sit down quietly, take some time to ourselves, when we find ourselves sitting poised, gentle, and dignified, whether it be on a pillow, in your chair, lying down, or even standing up if you'd like to, we make this an act of love to ourselves. This gentle and kind, responsible act that we use to give ourselves some time to step away from the normal humdrum and sometimes difficult days that we face. But in the face of all that adversity, we find a couple of minutes through our week to spend just sitting here quietly, not doing anything, not going anywhere, not trying to accomplish anything, just sitting down, having a nice time, and relaxing. When we take actions like this, we support ourselves. We show the one person that really matters that we care. There is no need to be responsible or careful. There's no need to be thoughtful or to be worried. Not about anything at all. We're just here exactly as we are. Unblemished, without need for work or need for change or need to deprive ourselves of our feelings of wholeness. We're just here, breathing together, relaxing together, enjoying this time to ourselves, but enjoying it as a whole being. You may start to wonder where you are, what you're doing, and your mind might start to slip away and carefully. At first, you'll notice this and go back to your standard position of focusing on your breath, focusing on the here and now. But really, a time may come when you don't feel like you have any control over your thoughts. That time will probably continue for a minute here, 10, 15 seconds there. But no matter what happens, you have to give yourself some credit. You're here after all. You're already trying your best. There's no need to try and force yourself to look at yourself with any kind of shame or feelings of inadequacy. You're just sitting here. You're just letting your thoughts come and go as they please. And without giving yourself a hard time, without being mean or cruel, just escort your thoughts back to the breathing, to the in and out, to the exhale and inhale. And slowly, gently, you'll notice that your feelings will begin to evaporate and only the breath will be left. And when this happens, which it will, 
you have to give yourself time. Time to relish. Time to think. Time to truly be one with yourself. In times like these, which are rare and few and far between, you have to give yourself just a pinch of love here and there. It may happen when you breathe out the sensation of a wholeness, of a friction down your back, through your spine and shoulders. It may even be on an in-breath, moving up through your stomach, over your belly, up to your heart. However you feel that sensation, however it comes to you, enjoy it. After all, you deserve it. You're here. You're taking your time. You're spending the effort. Not exhausting yourself by any means. Because being here is not so hard once you start doing it. You may even find you enjoy it. And if you do, well, you've already beaten half the battle. The next step is to let yourself go. Just focus on the breathing in your body being filled with a new sense of relief and out your worries, everything that's bottled up inside of you being released. When you breathe in, it's a fresh start, a new beginning, the joy of a clean slate. And when you breathe out, it's all of your troubles and fears, all of your trepidations, hesitations, slipping away. You feel yourself a little bit less sure of where your skin ends and where the air begins. Maybe it's because you're so relaxed. It's not quite clear. But what is clear, what you're sure of, is that things are going to be okay. And this will be for the better. Maybe if things are for the worse, at the end of the day, you'll still be here. You'll still be breathing. This never-ending flow, this learned instinct, you've had it since you were born, and now you're just giving yourself time to learn it over again. And learning it feels good. It's natural. It's a sense of pride, and you can feel that pride through your body every time that you focus on your breath going in and that carbon dioxide flowing out. And it's not just a measure for yourself. It's not just a way for you to feel better, but things become more focused, more clear, and you can see your life stretched out before you. The good, the bad, the happy, and the sad. All of these things that make us who we are. That make us living, breathing things. They're all part of our nature. We're nurtured by them. And as we see our nature weaved, tangled, clustered, we let ourselves become untangled. We start to see the individual pieces of what we are, and we let those things be as they are. We don't let them hinder us, or we don't take them for granted, or we don't let ourselves be confused and absorbed by them. We see them coming and going. They are just water and rain on a pane of glass. We see them, but before we even have time to notice where they're going or what's behind them, the trail they've left, they're already away and past and the newest drop is coming forward. 
And so if we let these things, however they come, whatever they are, wherever they're going, if we just let them come and go, we'll find that they don't affect us at all. These thoughts, they're only that. And as they eventually do come to the forefront of our imagination, that little spot in front of our eyes where we see things where our deeper mind seems to be the most active. We picture events, birthdays, moments of embarrassment, moments of pleasure and joy. We see all of them in a long stream and the stream goes downhill and eventually it reaches a lake. From that lake we can pull all sorts of thoughts. What thoughts do you feel? And are you breathing while you think of them? Or have you become distracted? It's okay if you have. It happens to all of us. When you do, which it's very likely that you have by now, just take a moment, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, to focus back on the breath in new ideas, new thoughts, new beginnings, and out a fresh start once again. Let leaving and letting go of those things that bother us in again, old becoming new, fresh growing from a new seed, and then out, letting go of the past, letting go of the things that keep us in the past. And as we see ourselves, not as the things that we used to be, but the people we are now, we notice that we're just here, breathing together, relaxing together in this calm, quiet space, enjoying this time for ourselves, but enjoying it as a whole being. And while we're in this space, we support each other. We support as if we are brother and sister, comrades in the long war against mental illness. And today is a special day because we've chosen to be here for ourselves. In this space, we find our worst enemy the enemy inside of each of us. We fight our worst nature and we work to find ourselves in a brighter tomorrow. No matter what happens, no matter where we find ourselves, we have to know that it will get better. We will succeed even if it means a hundred more times like this one or a thousand or even 10,000. It's not about winning every battle. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. And with each success, we pick up the pace. We find the ball rolling more and more, gaining more momentum. And through every stride, through every strife, we rejoice when they end. We see the dawning of a new day. The night passing over. We feel once again our blood rush. 
at the sensation and satisfaction of having won another battle. And this moment in time between each other is a battle of thought and focus. For each and every moment. And if you're focusing on your breathing, then you're winning. And if you're focusing on your thoughts, you're winning. Because even trying the slightest amount, the barest effort, it's enough. If you can't bury your soul yet, it doesn't mean you're weak. You just need time. There is nothing that exists today that started from greatness. Even the tallest mountain started from just a molehill. And we forget sometimes that we're just floating along. And it's okay to be floating. As right now you may feel as if you are on a cloud, high and above, away from all of the earth, from all of the problems. And if that's how you feel, you're definitely succeeding. And as you float away, as the hot air balloon around you seems to carry you higher and higher, Let it drift you on the breeze, taking you to a place of serenity. It's in that place that you will find yourself whole and new and prepared.